Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury, and uh, I'm an upper cervical chiropractor. So I get asked all the time, what is upper cervical chiropractic? Well, upper cervical is a specialty in chiropractic that focuses all of our attention on the upper two bones in the neck, specifically the atlas and the axis. Now, why do we focus all of our attention on just two bones when we have bones throughout our whole body? Well, because we have found, research has found over the last hundred years that this is the most vital part of the entire body. Two reasons. One, the brain stem comes out of the base of your head down through the top two bones. And the brain stem uh, controls every function in your body. It's like the switchboard operator from your brain to your body. It sends the messages to your heart, your liver, your lungs, your kidneys, your arms, your legs. Every message from your brain to your body, even up into the head, face, and neck, all come through the brain stem. So if a bone got out of the line in the upper part of the neck and interfered with the messages from your brain to any one or any multiple parts of your body, then that part of the body doesn't get the full message as intended and it starts to malfunction. Eventually symptoms can start to develop. Now the brain, brain stem spinal cord doesn't have any pain perception. So you can have a severe misalignment in the top of the neck interfering with the messages, you know, maybe to your stomach, but without having neck pain or headaches. But it could be creating problems in your stomach so maybe it doesn't produce the proper digestive enzymes, right? Maybe you start to have heartburn, reflux. It can affect the colon. What does that mean? I don't know, but if a full message from your brain to your colon aren't getting to the colon as intended, you can start to have problems with your colon. Maybe it doesn't absorb enough fluid. You have diarrhea. Uh, maybe it moves too slow. You have constipation. Maybe it doesn't move at all. So you have Crohn's disease. So if a bone got out of the line and interfered with the messages to any part or multiple parts of your body, then problems start to set in. What the problems are, we don't know. It's just manifest through your body. Now, the other thing, remember I said there are two things that we look for with an upper cervical and, and upper cervical chiropractic. The other problem is when these bones get misaligned, they move. And when they move, the head sits on top of those bones and the head has to go wherever those bones go. So if the bone moves out to the side, the head sits on top and it tilts the head. Now, the brain is designed to be level always. It has its own reflex. It's called the writing reflex. And the whole purpose is to make sure the brain is always balanced parallel to the ground. If one of the top bones in the neck get out of the line and tilt that head, the brain doesn't like it. Now, this bone, it gets stuck and your body can't unstick it. So what it'll do is the brain will send messages now forcing the body to compensate till the head levels again. So, for example, let's say the bone went to my right and it forced my head that way. Well, now the brain doesn't like it. So to get the brain level, it might cause me to drop down one shoulder, pull up one hip. It forces my body to compensate till the head levels. Now, in a child, while they're growing, that's where scoliosis comes from. In an adult, it doesn't curve to that degree, but it can still create compensatory changes, pulling one leg up shorter than the other. As a result, you have stretched, contracted muscles in the neck, going out in the shoulder, upper back, lower back, hips, knees, feet. Over time, those compensations become weak spots that can turn into neck pain, headaches, upper back pain, lower back pain, hip pain, knee pain. It can even affect the discs that are stacked up between those bones because if the spine curves a little bit, it can force the bones to wedge the disc out where it can affect the nerves going down the leg, forms of sciatica, nerves going down the arms, hands, numbness, tingling, carpal tunnel. Um, over time, it can create degeneration and makes your body degenerate prematurely because your body's designed to be symmetrical. So if it gets asymmetrical, then it wears down, unlike it uh, abnormally. Matter of fact, had a guy come in just the other day, had right knee pain. And he said, well, you know, my medical doctor said that's just old age. And first of all, he was a young guy, like 62. And I'm like, and where's the pain? And he said, just my right knee. And I'm like, well, how old is the other knee? Does that make any sense? So if your body's out of kilter, if it's not working symmetrical, then it's going to, if your knee's designed to wear like this, now one leg becomes shorter. So now it turns a little bit. Now it starts to wear down prematurely. Uh, um, um, you can have uh, rotation within the spine. You can have all kinds of compensations just because one of these little top bones got a little out of position, forcing your body to compensate. 
thus creating musculoskeletal conditions anywhere from the base of your head all the way down your feet. So as upper cervical chiropractors, we look for a problem at the top of the neck that could be interfering with the normal nerve function and message to the body and also creating compensatory changes. As a result, you can imagine how that can affect such a wide array of health problems. Now, the one thing I will tell you upper cervical chiropractors do not do, we do not treat conditions, okay? We do not, we're not neck pain doctors, we're not back pain doctors, we're not headache doctors, we're not digestive doctors. We are holistic doctors. We treat your body as a whole. We know that if we can keep your body perfectly aligned and all the brain communicating to your body at 100%, then you can max you can function at your maximum potential, whatever that may be. But for most people, that is a healthy, vitalistic lifestyle. As we say, we want to add not just years to your life, but also life to your years. So if you're looking for an upper cervical doctor, or if you're not, find an upper cervical doctor, get checked. Let's see if maybe you have an upper cervical problem that could be interfering with your quality of life. If so, if you live in the Charlotte area, give our office a call. That's Charlotte, Pineville, Matthews, Fort Mill, Rock Hill, Gastonia, Belmont, Huntersville, Cornelius, Lake Norman, Lake Wiley. We're the upper cervical doctor for you. Our office is uh, uh, located on right off 45 on Arrowwood Road. Uh, you can call us. We never charge for the initial consultation just to see what your problem is. If it's something we think we can help. If we find an upper cervical problem, we'll explain to you what we need to do to try to correct it. Our phone number is 704-588-5560. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, do yourself a favor. Google upper cervical chiropractor. Find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you can't find one, call our office. We'll do our best to try to find one for you. I hope this sheds a little light on what is upper cervical care and hope you find one just to get your you and your family checked as soon as you can. Hope you got something out of this. Have a great afternoon.